This is a brief introduction to the Riello RDB-BG Blue Flame Pressure Jet Burner, used across the Grant Vortex Blue range of high-efficiency condensing oil boilers. Using this burner maintains the high efficiency of the Grant Vortex boilers, but reduces the NOx emissions to well below the European limit to be introduced soon, and future-proofing the boiler against further reductions in emissions. The first thing you'll notice is the similarity with other Riello RDB burners. In fact, if you're familiar with the RDB, you'll have no trouble finding your way round this burner. The basic construction is the same as you're probably used to with the air inlet box and air adjuster on the right-hand side, the fan housing in the centre and the control box and oil pump on the left. The photo cell is in the same position, but this burner uses an ultraviolet or UV cell instead of the photoresistor more commonly used. This is used because the blue flame on this burner can't be seen by the usual photo cell. This UV cell requires a digital control box instead of the 535SE analog box more commonly found on RDB burners. From the outside, this control box looks very similar to the analog box. The only obvious difference is that the reset button on the front is clear and not red. This button will indicate either the operating status of the burner or any burner faults, depending on its colour. So, when the burner is running normally, the reset button will be green, and if it locks out, it'll change to red. Other operating modes and faults are indicated by different colours. Check in the installation instructions for details. Just one thing, on this control box to operate the reset button, you have to press and briefly hold it in before releasing. Opening up the cover, you'll see the connections are very much like the analog box, except that the UV cell has a three-wire connection. Next is the solenoid valve connection, a two-wire connection, the same as the analog box. Here's the motor connection, again a three-wire connection as with the analog box, with the white wire providing the 52-volt AC supply to the control box from the motor, just the same as on other RDB burners. This is the preheater connection fitted with a jumper, as no preheater is fitted to this burner for the UK. And finally, there's the mains connection. This is now a four-wire connection, as the burner needs both a permanent live for the post-purge operation and a switched live to start the burner when there is a demand for it to fire. The oil pump is the same one as usually used, and it uses the same solenoid coil. Moving round to the other side of the burner, you'll see that the most obvious difference is the longer combustion head. You fit the combustion head the same way as usual, with two screws. Just loosen these and you can pull out the head from the burner body. Don't forget to disconnect the two ignition leads from the electrodes inside the head. To refit the combustion head, just reverse this process connecting the electrodes first, pushing the head into the burner body and tightening the screws. The combustion head has slotted holes here. When the burner is firing, the combustion gases are recirculated through these holes, producing a cleaner blue flame with lower emissions. Most of the flame is actually contained within the combustion head, which glows red hot, with the blue flame showing from the end. Just compare this with the yellow flame from a standard pressure jet oil burner.